Hello guys, this is Frugal back with another Frugal Vlogs, which I've not done in quite a while. First up, the apologies. I've not done a lot of videos lately. I've been very, very busy with the uh, day jobs. So uh, that's taken most of my time. It has to take priority, I'm afraid, over the channel. Second of all, I look a little bit tired. I'm looking at the preview here on, on my screen. I look a bit tired. I just got off a live stream, but it was important that I get this video done, I think, before I go to bed. I want to talk to you about, well, the title of this video, Buyer Beware. Here's the thing. We have a very small community within Flight Sim. It's a niche. That's what it's officially known as. It is a software entertainment niche. There are not a lot of people in the market. And those of us that are here, because there are not a lot of people buying stuff, there's not a lot of people selling stuff. So as a result, we as the buyers, the consumers of flight simulation awesomeness, tend to be somewhat desperate for anything awesome that we can find, be it software or help. Buyer beware. We had a, uh, an issue a little while ago with a company, I can't remember their name, but they were purporting to be selling an Airbus A380, which is highly anticipated. A lot of people want it. So people were basically doing the uh, typical internet, throwing their money at the screen to buy this thing. Turns out, as far as I'm aware, the software didn't exist and the company was a scam. So people were throwing their money at this company without really looking into who the company is or what they're doing or anything like that and basically throwing their money away. That's a very small thing but it's a good example of the typical sort of thing that can happen in a market as small as this where we are so desperate for something new and something awesome and so on now the real focus of this video is actually in some respects my fault i introduced you to a guy called fsx genius now i introduced you to him because i do not do technical support i hate doing technical support and this guy came along and formed a channel and said hey i can do technical support and why don't you send all your tech support peeps my way and initially i was hesitant but then i thought yeah why the hell not so i did a couple of joint live streams with him did some video work with him as well i sent a lot of attention to fsx genius's channel now it turns out FSX Genius was building a business. He was building a business doing paid tech support. He was logging onto people's machines when they paid him, of course, and tweaking their FSX. And I understand that most of the customers or all of the customers who undertook in that service were pretty happy with the results. Excellent. Then he started to sell PCs. Now, I cannot tell you in this video whether FSX Genius is a scammer. I cannot tell you if he's a con artist. I cannot tell you if he's a liar or a thief because I don't know. I haven't had any contact with him for months. He did a number of things which really upset me and I severed all contact with him at that point. But because of how big this channel's gotten, how big the following is now on Facebook, I had a number of people reach out to me on Facebook and I'm just telling you now exactly what I have had presented to me. That they had sent large sums of money to FSX Genius to get new PCs. I've had about seven people send me this same story each time in their own words, obviously, where they would send money to him. He would promise a PC. It wouldn't get delivered. Then an excuse would be made as to why it wouldn't be delivered. Then another excuse. Then another excuse. And then another excuse. And the excuses would make him, if they are true, would make FSX Genius the unluckiest guy on the planet. He suddenly had to leave the country was a, an excuse early on at the beginning of the year. Um, what else? He had a car crash at 70 miles an hour and put up pictures to one or two of his customers, which I've got, showing his completely undamaged car, but he had a car crash at 70 miles an hour. His cat died. He had a severe illness in the family. Work scheduling stopped him from being able to do anything and he was traveling all over the place. He had to leave the country again at one point and come out to America, apparently. That's another excuse. Somebody in his family died. These are all excuses that I have seen written by FSX Genius in messages sent back to the customers that have contacted me to say, Frugal, can you help? No, I can't help. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. What I can do is try to bring some attention to it, but better than that. Um, recently, I've started looking into this because a very close friend of mine got involved and he sent FSX Genius a large sum of money for a new PC and received, like I just said, a litany of excuses and reasons as to why that PC could not be delivered. And now, my friend, well, something strange happened. He got a phone call from a chap who claimed to be FSX Genius's brother-in-law, saying that FSX Genius is in hospital critically ill with meningitis. That is why he's not been able to satisfy the orders. There's nothing he can do about it. He feels terrible. He's in hospital. This was the last week of April, leading up to May the 1st. And then FSX Genius's channel put up a video that said it was pre-recorded in February. But... That video, which he clearly states was pre-recorded in February, so he's clearly getting a message out there to people that, hey, this wasn't done just now because I'm critically ill. This was done in February. 
shows that he's using software which was, which was released at the end of April, OBS 622, which was released on April 25th, I think. At the end of that video, he shows some files he's creating throughout the course of the tutorial. The files have timestamps on them, which is the date of the video, May the 1st, not February. So that's a little bit concerning. And also this chap who called my friend and claimed to be f 6 as his brother-in-law and that he would take care of him and sort the issue out. Well, the phone number he calls from is the same phone number that's been provided to other people as the phone number of the courier company. Now, that's another excuse that's come up as to why PCs have not been delivered in the emails that I have had provided to me by customers that have been allegedly sent to them by f 6 Genius. The couriers can't find the addresses to deliver, that couriers are losing the packages, that couriers are having no record of the packages, all of a sudden it's just vanishing off the face of the earth. Well, the phone number that was given to at least one customer is the same phone number that called my friend and said I'm FSX Genius's brother-in-law. Now, the guy who also got that phone number as the courier, you know, this is the phone number you need to call to track your package, was also told, because he spoke to FSX Genius at the time, that he's not ill, he's not in hospital, he's actually in Scotland, doing some work up in Scotland, so he's travelling for work again. Yet another excuse as to why he can't deliver. Now the problem is, I'm not going to mention the name of the company, but the courier company he says he's using have a comp are a very small courier company, actually. They're based in um, rugby in England, and quite a, quite a distance from Leeds, where this other phone number is, but that courier company have a completely different phone number to the phone number that is being provided to people who demand it to track their packages. Now, as I said at the start of this video, I cannot tell you that this guy is a con man. I don't know if he's a con man. I haven't spoken to him. I don't know if he's doing something dishonest. I haven't spoken to him. I don't know if he's got a good reason for not supplying PCs, for not refunding customers who repeatedly demand to have their money back. I don't know if there's a good reason for that. I'm not speaking to him. So in the light of that, now I'm speaking to him. FSX genius Matthew Hardy. If you want to get your side of the story out, because I understand from one of the other excuses that was provided to somebody that you are very, very distraught about all the ill feeling that's going your way right now. If you want to get your side of the story out, I implore you, contact me. I have tried contacting you. You've deleted me on your two Skype accounts. Every message I post on Facebook asking you what's going on gets deleted. The comments I posted on your videos recently asking why are you saying that this was recorded in February when it clearly was recorded the day it was uploaded, which is May the 1st, got deleted. So I implore you, reach out to me. You have my email address. You have my Skype details. You can contact me on Facebook. You can send me a private message right here on YouTube. I would love for you to join me on a live stream where you can pitch your side of the story to, to the half a dozen or so people who have lost thousands and thousands of dollars and pounds to you and have received nothing. If, if, if there is a good reason as to why this is going on, I would love to get you on a live stream so that you can tell us all your side of the story and clear this whole mess up once and for all. To everybody else watching this video, the title of the video remains, Buyer Beware. If you're about to send money to an individual or a company that you've not had dealings with before, well, our community is so small, there are only really three or four or five focal points of attention for everybody in the community. There's Avsim, xplane.org, um, xpilot.com, flightsim.com, the Frugal Sim Facebook page. If you have contact with somebody or a company and you're not sure if they're any good, you're not sure if they're trustworthy, post a question on one of those forums and ask. There are thousands of people out there who might be able to help you and then we wouldn't end up in tricky situations like we're in right now. As always, my name is Frugal. Thank you so much for watching. FSX Genius, I look forward to hearing from you and getting a live stream fired up. Stay tuned for more videos. See you soon.